So I recently invested in a really nice soldering station, the TC950. It's the exact same as the Hakko 936. I believe that's the uh, the model that it's sort of compared to. It's actually made with the exact same parts, just has a different sticker on it. In fact, the heating ele element in the iron says Hakko on it. But anyways, enough of talking about the actual soldering station. Uh, I got I got the station, it worked great and everything, but the one problem I was facing is that whenever I soldered, I had a bunch of uh, soldering fumes that basically came up into my face. So I started looking for some solutions to that problem. Uh, first I was looking online for just a cheap kind of fume filter that you can buy. And it turns out you can't buy one for less than like $60. And you know, I only spent about $80 on the soldering station, so I, I didn't really feel like spending uh, $60, 70 $80 on a fume filtering system. So I did, did a little bit more looking online and uh, I found there's a couple tutorials, one by Make Magazine showing you how to make a little fume filter system yourself uh, out of like uh, carbon filters and a computer fan. So I, ma I made sort of my version of that. There it is right there. And let me tell you, this was a complete fail. Those carbon filters, you gotta be kidding me. They do not filter out a thing. And this computer fan, just computer fans are so weak at actually uh, pushing air through filters and stuff like that, that it, it just didn't really suck anything through. Maybe it took like one cubic foot of air through a minute. Like I'm serious, it, it barely t it, it seemed to blow more air out than it took through. So uh, I don't really know what's up with that, but this thing completely failed. It looks sort of nice, but you know, probably spent like twenty dollars on that. So sort of disappointed. Anyways, uh, I gave I kind of gave up the whole filtering idea and just went to a pure kind of extraction idea just to extract all the fumes out of my house completely enough of this trying to filter stuff out so I went to Home Depot and I bought one of these bathroom fans you know the fans that you turn on when you take a shower so the bathroom doesn't get too humid here it is right here let me just set my camera on a tripod and I can show you what I've done to the insides of this thing so here it is and I mean I actually haven't done a whole lot since I got it basically put a light switch over there as you can see Right, flip it on and off. Brought a cord in. Of course, that brings the power in. Goes through the, goes through the switch, and into the motor and back out. It's about as simple as it gets. So now I can turn it on and off. Right, and then this just clips back on. Same way, you take it off. There we go. And I also got about eight feet of this kind of dryer venting hose for about six or seven dollars and I use this to vent all the fumes outside and just hang it out my window there. I'm still trying to figure out, might make something out of cardboard to block off the rest of the window because it does get kind of chilly in my room when I have my window open like that much but you know it works really well. So I have a flashlight just pointed around here so you can see the fumes a little better hoping it'll illuminate them and uh, yeah I'm going to give you a little demonstration from about six inches away and then one foot away. So here's six inches. Well, I guess it'll help if I flip it on. Well, let me just show you a little bit, what, just quickly what happens without it flipped on. You can see the fumes just kind of drift wherever they want to. Now if I flip it on, watch this. You can see they all just get sucked right into there. Let me just brush my iron off. And now from a foot away. Now I find this is kind of pushing it. it. It sucks probably about 80% of them away. Right? You can see it definitely does draw them in. But there are a few, I'm not sure if you can see here, that are escaping above the fan. I also have a bit of a draft from the window coming in, but you can see how even from this distance, I mean, it still does a pretty good job of taking them out of the house. I think that's about it. Just wanted to show you this in case you were thinking about making your own fume extraction system, because, I mean, it's super simple to make. Just get a bathroom fan, and you don't even have to add the switch if you don't want to. You can just wire it up and plug it in and unplug it as you need to. I just thought the switch is really handy because it does make a lot of noise, but it's better than having fumes kind of go up into your face. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. You saw how well it worked in the demonstration. don't think there's much more to say. Thanks for watching.